The field level communications initiative of the OPC Foundation is happy to have realized the first multi-vendor demonstration system, which is showing controller prototypes that are already supporting extensions for the OPC UA framework that support field level communications. So in this demonstration unit that you see here on the left hand side of myself, uh, we have included um, different controllers of different manufacturers as well as different network infrastructure components. So browsing through all these devices, we have altogether 17 different controllers. Um, and these controllers are, let's say, uh, showing the complete range of controllers that we have in, in the different automation applications. So we have PLCs, we have motion controllers, we have robot controllers, and also uh, DCS systems that are used in process industry. And what is really making us proud is that we have all the big names in automation uh, supporting uh, this new technology, and they are also part of this demonstration. Now, if we browse through the different devices that we see here, we have in the middle section, all the different components that we use for the network infrastructure. Uh, we have uh, conventional Ethernet switches. We have what I typically call the new generation of Ethernet switches. So switches that support time-sensitive networking, Ethernet TSN. And we have, have also included a 5G testbed using millimeter frequency band. And this diversity of different infrastructure component is important for us because we want to also make clear that OPC UA and also the extensions for field exchange are completely transport agnostic. So we can use different underlying transport protocols, we can use different physical layers, um, and we can, by doing that, also support wired as well as wireless uh, connectivity. And this is all integrated now in this uh, demonstration unit. Uh, so the controllers make use of the infrastructure and they have implemented different services which are more out of conventional OPC UA specifications like client server, publish, subscribe. But as I mentioned before, we have also the UAFX prototypes that already have implemented features out of the extensions for field level communications. So now let's have a closer look at the applications that we are using to show this demonstrator. And for this, we go over to one of the two touch panels that we are using that include the dashboard and also the connection manager to set up the different configurations that we are using for this demonstrator. Uh, so first of all, you see here the dashboard, which is now showing all the 17 controllers with the different nameplates. So information about the vendor, in the, uh, information about the product. But you can also see then the different uh, status of the UA client server connections or the UA FX connections. This is all part of that main screen, which shows all the different controllers. We can then also uh, switch and have a closer look at the production lines that we have uh, configured. Um, so it's important that we have just uh, been deciding to use a bottling on demand application, um, but certainly the, the range of applications is much broader. So this is really just an example out of uh, a bottling production line. And here we see now different uh, configurations uh, consisting of a, a washer, a filler, a capper, and a labeler. So you see here two different production lines. The first one that is shown um, at, the, at the higher level is uh, having Beckhoff as the washer, Vago as a filler, Rexroth as capper, and ABB as a labeler. And the second production line you find just below, it's Omron being the washer, Festo the filler, BNR the capper, and Schneider Electric the labeler. Um, we can also have a look um, at the different assets and uh, just selecting one out of the different manufacturers that are um, providing the different information models 
we see here now the, the asset provided by the Honeywell PLC with different information you see here on the screen. But we can also look at, at another example, uh, for example, clicking to the BNR uh, PLC, where you can also see that we can have different assets in one device. So this is a very uh, flexible possibility to, on the one hand side, monitor the uh, OPC UA uh, capabilities of the different devices, but also the UAFX extensions for the different UAFX controller prototypes. As already explained before, we are using the example of a bottling on demand application. Uh, and what I want to now show you is how we use so-called connection managers in order to set up a certain configuration consisting of different controllers and how to set up the UAFX connections between them. Now, first of all, I have here on the screen the example of the Siemens connection manager. You see here all the different UAFX controller prototypes that are available that you can configure. Um, and you can use a, a second screen then in order to graphically connect the different controllers with each other. You can do this dynamically for a certain configuration that you would like to establish. We have a second connection manager, which is the connection manager of unified automation based on the UA expert. You see here also the selection of different controllers in the middle part. And we have then here two production lines that are available. I can now set up a certain uh, configuration. You see here the configuration of Omron being the washer, Festo being the filler, BNR being the capper, and Schneider being the labeler. And by established connections, we are then able to set up this first production line. You see in the background already in the dashboard that the first production line has been set up and the UAFX connections have been established. And now I can even do this for a second production line with a different configuration. Here we have Beckhoff as a washer, Vago as a filler, Rexroth as a capper and ABB as a labeler. And if I set up these connections, you see also again in the background with the dashboard that we are setting up now the second production line. If we switch to the full screen with the dashboard, you see both configurations with the setup UAFX connections. And the UAFX connections, this is important to mention, they are based on publish subscribe. So we can exchange process data between all these different controllers. And this can be real-time data, it can be safety data, can be cyclic, acyclic data, whatever needs to be exchanged. And this all runs in parallel to any existing client-server connections that might already be established. Okay, so now after showing you how the demonstration works, I want to talk a little bit about what is now the value proposition. Why is this technology important to the industry? How does it help the, the customers? What, what is actually the benefit for them? And I think, first of all, we have to recognize that today we have around all the big suppliers, automation suppliers in the market, we have um, different ecosystems. Um, they are using different kind of uh, connectivity standards, um, usually real-time Ethernet solutions. But they are, let's say, not compatible with each other. They cannot coexist in a common network infrastructure. Now, with OPCUA and the extensions for field exchange, we are able now to uh, connect between these different controllers. Each controller might support a different ecosystem by itself. But this is now a completely vendor-independent, non-proprietary, standards-based connectivity solution using OPC UA technology, which is broadly accepted by all the automation suppliers, including all the big names. So this is really um, a unique standard that is um, supporting the harmonization of the rather heterogeneous uh, connectivity uh, situation that we have today. And what is also important to mention is that exactly these extensions that have now been developed more for the use case 
controller to controller will in future also standardize the controller to device connectivity. And by doing that, we then have a really uh, consistent IIoT communication solution, which really fully scales from the field up to the cloud. And this vertically as well as horizontally. And this is the overall vision that we are uh, striving towards and that we support by doing all the extension for the extensions for the UA framework.